Hey, welcome back to Part of My Imagination. My name is Jasmine, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my goals um, for 2019, basically. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into it. Like, let's talk about it. I'm just got my notebook. So, the first thing is obviously, I'm a new booktuber. So I don't have many subscribers. So my first goal for 2019 is to reach at least 300 subscribers. Um, right now I probably have about like 30. Yeah, when I say I have like 30 followers, and that's within like two months. So I think by the end of the year I should be around 300 subscribers. And the booktube community has kind of like welcomed me with open arms. Um, so I have a few people that I'm already like die hard. I watch their videos every day. I have the bell turned on. Um, shout out to the princess for just putting me in her recognition tag for booktube. Um, uh, super hype about that. So yeah, I just plan on to re-diving myself into the booktube community and it's kind of a little bit hard because you have to be like hardcore on social media and because I'm in the army and I'm actually a recruiter in the army so I spend all day on social media talking to teenagers so like the last thing I want to do is come home and get on things like Twitter and Instagram and things like that and half the time I don't even want to record these videos because I'm always tired and I just want to spend time reading so I do plan on trying to like actually go in and spend time on my Twitter because I realized that a lot, like if I want to be in the booktube community, I need to be on Twitter. Not really so much as Instagram, that's more like bookstagram. And my bookstagram fucking sucks. So maybe that'll be a goal for next year. But my goal is to reintegrate myself back onto Twitter and kind of just get myself in the community, meet new people, and build my base from there. Now, another one that I have is, I've already posted a journaling riddle video, excuse me, but I do kind of just for my own personal self to keep myself accountable, is work, keeping videos, maybe just a monthly video of my journaling and probably doing like my book part on it. I probably won't show like the personal side. I didn't get any comments, obviously I don't have many followers, so I didn't get that much reviews on my journaling video. But I probably won't post the personal things, but maybe like what I read in a month. Books and Lala did it, and I know she's not planning on doing it anymore because it kind of was like repetitive. But maybe I can just show like, okay, my TBR and what my journal looks like. And then I also plan on doing um, a debt part. And I thought it would be pretty interesting maybe just to show like how I plan on getting out of debt and how I plan on doing it and things like that. If you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll just completely nix it or I'll just do it for myself and have it on there. I don't th I don't like n think that it's gonna get a lot of views. It probably won't because there's obviously other booktubers that are super big that are doing it, so whatever. Um, my next goal for 2019 is my book goal. And I do plan on reading, I wanna say I'm setting it at 100 books. I average about seven books a month so and that's like without doing um, readathons or things like that my average page pace is about seven books so I'm pretty sure like between days that I have off and readathons I will probably read more than seven books in a month and I do have a ton of rereads planned and series that I plan on rereading or reading that I haven't read before so I I believe that I can hit 100. This year I had it set at 20 but that's only because I had so many things going on with the military that I just didn't have the time to read which is why I also have so many books on my shelf that are unread but I do plan on setting my Goodreads goal to 100 books. And my next goal for 2019 and for my channel is to make a book tag or a readathon. Um, I have a few things like that I'm working on now and it's probably gonna be a little bit geared towards the military just because I haven't seen anyone like create a readathon or like a tag geared to our military and I figure since I am in the military 
it would be pretty fun to do it and have the people come participate. Obviously, you don't have to be in the military. I don't know. I'll work out the kinks. Who knows when that's going to be. Maybe veterans there. So, I have time. Um, yeah. And the next one that I have for 2019 is I want to do a book review. Obviously, like, I don't see a lot of people doing book reviews. It's a lot of, like, book recommendations. I'm not saying that people don't because I have seen, um, I can't remember her page. Why can't I think of it right now? I'll just link it, like, right here. I'll show her handle for booktube. But I know she does book reviews. Um, but I don't see a lot of people doing book reviews, like actually diving in. And I get it because like it has spoilers in it, but I feel like a lot of the books I'm going to be reading, people have already read, or maybe in the beginning I'll do like a non-spoiler of the review and then I'll do a full-fledged like spoilers included. And I do plan on doing that with the Red Rising, so, um... Which is why I kind of like wanted to start it because I love Red Rising and all I want to do is talk about Red Rising. So that's kind of like why I'm starting. Those are probably going to be the first books that I do book reviews on. So look forward to that. And ultimately the last goal that I have for my channel. These are all just goals for the channel really. Not like my personal goals or anything like that. But my last goal for this channel is to at least post one video a week like i said i am a recruiter which means that i i mean i work set hours but i also work long hours and i have kids and things like that so life kind of gets away from me and i want to spend most of that time reading which means i'm not spending a lot of time recording and it's just about finding time because i do have twins so they're always home when I'm home, which means that I have to record late at night when they're sleeping or on the weekends, but they're on the weekends. So I don't really have a lot of time, but I do want to set a goal because I know it's, I know that I can between doing book wrap ups, a book review and, um, like book hauls or unhauls, things like that. I know I could reach at least a, a one video a week or a month. So, no, I did say week. Oh, shit. Yeah. One video a week. Those are the plan. At a minimum, two videos a month. So, like, my TBR and a wrap-up. But, obviously, I probably am going to hit three because I want to do the book reviews. So, we'll see. Those are all the goals that I have. This is kind of like a short video. Obviously, I'm new to BookTube, so I kind of just wanted to, like, dive into 2019 so you guys know where I'm heading with my channel. So if you're interested, stay along for the ride. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for me, leave them down in the description box. If you have books that I should read, let me know. If you guys want a book, a booktube tour, booktube, wow. Well, if you want a bookshelf tour, let me know. Because I haven't shown any of the books on my shelf. So it's not like you guys can recommend any of the books that I have on here because I am still doing the no buying book challenge that I started already into 2019 that's not really so I didn't really state that because it's not a goal I plan on continuing that on until I read all my books and right now I'm currently sitting at 395 books so in the beginning I had 494 now I'm sitting at 390 excuse me 395 so I have gotten rid of a few like 40 books I want to say yeah I got rid of about 40 40 books so I do plan on continuing that goal I'm kind of like all over the place but yeah if you like this video subscribe comment down below let me know what I should do with my channel any suggestions will be greatly appreciated and if you don't like my channel then just leave like 2019 starting you don't need to be here 